I think it's uh, important for the final question, the eight marker, uh, with three marks, spelling, punctuation and grammar. Um, you can't see my feedback on this question. Um, and this person um, has clearly gone off and learnt their knowledge and understood the command word. So we're going to bug. I'm going to mark it and show you where we're levelling up in terms of our different criteria. We've got for this question um, two areas. We've got AO1, which is our knowledge, and AO3, which is our command word, which is our evaluation. These are the two areas we need to maximise in order to get eight marks for this. So again, we wouldn't get Zambia, so it would be for an LIDC. That's our underline. Evaluate. So again, strengths and weaknesses. And that should form paragraph one, paragraph two. We know that our link in our pill is going to be related to our evaluation stage. So we are talking about successful. We are talking about it being um, trying to achieve the Millennium Development Goals. So our underline is Millennium Development Goals and we would have for this 8 marker had to have gone away and revised it because it's 8 marks we are looking for numerical facts. So let's go through this. In, 2000, in the 2000s 189 countries signed their Millennium Development Goals. In the 1990s Zambia suffered extreme poverty and poor sanitation. Therefore, their MDGs were to halve poverty by 50%, increase sanitation and primary education, and reduce child mortality by 2015. So here, we have already ticked AO1, numerical facts, so definitely level 1 although it is reasonable so we put a question mark here we've kind of gone past level one basic to more reasonable knowledge here so showing knowledge by 2015 the success and failures were mixed here level one evaluation We've given a judgment, we've made our opinion known. Successes and failures were mixed. That word, level one. By 2015, most children received primary education and equality. Another achievement is that poverty was reduced from 60% to 42% in the capital of Zambia. Uh, so here, we started to use more facts. So again, we are showing a, a numerical facts, so reasonable knowledge. We've moved from this first paragraph of showing knowledge at level one, definitely down to here of being level two. And we could have expanded here by saying that it was mainly only in urban areas that poverty was reduced. So again, you can be questioning each MD MDG to whether it was being successful. So that would have expanded on our evaluation to a level two. Here, this sentence here again, again shows evaluation AO3 level two. We're doing it throughout, which is why we are achieving our criteria. However, some targets were not met. A lot of the population still suffered due to lack of clean water and sanitation and around 100,000 mothers died a year due to childbirth. Here I'm saying, well our facts are throughout so I'm questioning whether that is now thorough um, understanding and knowledge of MDGs. Due to childbirth and pregnancy another fa failure is child mortality was still high. 
would have achieved level 3 if we had facts here. However, in conclusion, Zambia's trying to achieve the MDG goals was not so successful. That there is hitting level 3. We've now got our own conclusion and our own opinion to this area. So we're achieving a thorough evaluation throughout this question. Here, um, even though poverty dropped by 38%, most improvement happened in Lusaka, the capital. So again, level 3, thorough use of numerical facts throughout this question. So we're already hitting criteria in that final statement. One way to make Zambia successful in the MDGs is to focus on improving rural wells, not just the capital. That statement there, for me, underpinned evaluation throughout and I was giving future guidance for next steps. Absolutely fantastic example of how we meet criteria. So our criteria here was level, level 3, 8 marks, high knowledge and evaluation throughout seen in each paragraph. Well done. And the person knows this, well done for this model answer, model answer. And this is a model answer. So if you did not achieve a level three here and you've achieved a level two, have a look at the two model examples I've given you to restructure your question. Mostly it was this AO3 throughout, this evaluation, this opinion on the facts that you were given. You're not simply in this question giving AO1. An eight marker is going to have more than one skill that you have to meet. So if you've got more than one skill, you know you have to hit, hit both areas in to order to maximise your marks. And your spag needs to be three marks, and it was in this question because I couldn't find hardly any areas. A little bit on the spag score. To get a high spag score, you have to show coherency. You have to show tier three words and specialist terms throughout. And those people achieving a level three in this question, very impressed indeed. So if this ever comes up in the exam, you are ready to maximize your marks.